Now, Asher talks about a various outlet configuration of centrifugal fan and their rumble condition. As we see in this picture, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different arrangement. Now, the very first one we have uh, the fan, which is throwing the active horizontal motion. And you see the very normal as usual duct arrangement here. And then the second picture we have the fan is throwing air at an angular direction. And then we got another duct arrangement here. Rest of the picture well, the centrifugal fan is throwing air at upward motion. And we see different duct design or different duct configuration or system configuration of duct. Well, the system or the duct ducting system that affects the performance of the fan. So both of them has to be synchronized so, uh, fan as well as the duct system. Now, starting with the very optimum scenario, this is the very optimum scenario. Let's focus on this. So this is the centrifugal fan we have now. This centrifugal fan can be at an uh, at a fan coil unit or at an air handling unit or maybe in exhaust system. Doesn't matter as long as it is it is a centrifugal fan. Uh, this applies. Now we see at any centrifugal fan there is an opening. So let's say this is the opening of the fan. And we see this is the height. So let's say the height of this opening is B. Now what Ashe says us, after the centrifugal fan, you must have a flexible joint. It may be cloth or it may be fiber, doesn't matter whatever comforts you. And after that, we must carry on um, duct similar to the size of the opening of the centrifugal fan. Let's say the centrifugal fan opening here at this point is A by B. Uh, or let's take a numerical value will be, you know, you know, more touching. So let's say this is uh, 48 inch. And this one is like, let's say 12 inch. Okay, so if the opening is 48 inch by 12 inch, we have to carry on the opening, um, the duct similar to the size of the opening for a length at least 1.5 times of B. So if here we see the B is 12 inch height, uh, don't get confused with this B. So yeah, let me rewrite here, B. So. If the B is 12 inch, in that scenario, 1.5 times of B, that means 12 multiply with 1.5. What we have is 18 inch. This is the minimum length we should carry on a state duct similar to the size of the centrifugal fan opening. After that, we are going to meet the regular uh, duct design or duct design parameter. Let's say here we have the duct that we do calculation as per our requirement. Now we have to connect this duct with this fan system. In this case, we are going to need a, a slope or neck in here. Now in this connection, Asher recommends a slope of one by four if the velocity is below 2000 feet per minute. So the slope here we have one by four, if the velocity is below 2000 feet per minute. However, it is always preferred uh, uh, slope one by seven. That is actually preferred one. Now there's another one. This is uh, as far as it's very good. So similar element, uh, we have the flexible connector here and also A, we have already discussed this, so this is the uh, this is the similar, no, no, nothing new here, so similar to this scenario. Always we have to carry on uh, the state duct after the centrifugal fan for a length of 1.5 times of the centrifugal fan opening, as we have discussed earlier. Now. Uh, 
in this particular scenario, dimension A should be 1.2. Yes, everything is similar. Yeah. Right. So let's talk about this one. The good scenario as we are throwing as vertically upward motion. Uh, showing, looking at this four picture, it is very easy to understand. Um, this is the optimum scenario of vertical, uh, no, if you want to throw a yeah, vertical motion. And if you see the second picture here, a particle, uh, particle is showing that, yeah, uh, that is, you know, very sharp end. So you're not going to get uh, a good performance here and a high amount of loss will be here, uh, similar to this and this. So these are not acceptable, the good performing condition for centrifugal fan, but if you are following uh, throwing the air at the vertical upward motion. Uh, this one is the ideal uh, implementation to follow. Now, uh, everything is same, only different is the right turning van. You need to provide van here in case you are throwing at upward motion just to get the lamina faster. Now, in practically, yeah, we must follow this. Other than this, uh, it will be very difficult for us to. Uh, make a system which is vibration and noise free and uh, from the real exam you might get some question from here so uh, be well prepared